following is Fall 2008, Math 115, Department Final Version 3, number 25, 26, and 27. Number 25, factorize this. Uh, you can see right away that you don't have common factor. Therefore, we will go to uh, another type of factoring. After that, uh, you see that because it is two terms, then we suspect that it will be the difference of squares, which is yes. This is a subtraction between. Now you can see this as x squared minus 11 squared, which if we factorize will be x plus 11, x minus 11. Okay, of course you need to remember that 121 is actually the square of 11. Now that gives us answer B. Number 26, solve by factoring. You see that uh, this is already equal to zero. Therefore, what I will do is uh, I will factorize the left term here, left, left side here, and then use the uh, zero factor theorem. Now, let's see. How do I factorize that 12x squared plus 25x plus 12? Uh, for 12, we have many possibility. Uh, it is uh, 12x and x or 6x and 2x or 4x and 3x. Okay, now from the sign you see it will be both plus. And then for the 12, it's either 1, 12, 12, 1, 2, 6, 6, 2, uh, 4, 3, 3, 4. Okay, now 1, 12, 12, 1, 6, 2, 2, 6, 4, 3, 3, 4. Likewise here, let me write down all of them first. Now, it seems like we have a total of uh, 18 ways, right? Uh, and what we will do actually to do it one by one but if you think about that notice that uh, there are a lot of things we know for sure can cancel notice that you don't have common factor okay now then if suppose for example 12 1 is the answer this 12 will have common factor with that 12 therefore uh, it will contradict uh, what we have supposed to be that they don't have common factor this will not work for the same reason that I will cancel this, 12 and 2 has common factor, right? I cancel this, and actually even 3 and 4, 12 and 3 has common factor 3, okay? Now you see that if you try this, it will be too big. I think it's 145 for the middle term. No, that's not right. Now let's see the second one. Notice that you have 6 and 2, both of them even number. And with the reason we have earlier that they don't have common factor, all of them will cancel, right? Like 1 and 12, the 12 and 2 here have common factor. 12 and 6 here have common factor. So if you think about that, all of them here will get canceled. Okay, now if I move on, the third option, 4x, 3x. Now this one we tried already earlier and didn't work. These have common factor. 12 and 4 has common factor, 6 and 4 has common factor, 2 and 4 has common factor, 4 and 4 definitely have common factor. Okay, now uh, these cannot cancel, let's count it. If this were 3 and 4, you will get 16 plus 9, that's 25. So this will then become uh, 4x plus 3 and 3x plus 4 equals to 0. And then from there we solve it, 4x plus 3 equals 0, which give me, uh, give us 4x equals to negative 3, uh, x equals to negative 3 4, and for the second part there, 3x plus 4 equals 0, 3x equals to negative 4, x equals to negative 4 thirds. So uh, both of them has negative answer. Okay, now notice that it takes me a long time to do this number 26, right? 
uh, and what makes it long is because of this factoring here okay now uh, I would like you to think of a little smarter way to do this mm, you can call this a cheating way but this cheating way requires you to know a lot more now uh, if you think about this notice that however we we'll factorize that however we factorize that it will be it will be something x something x plus something and another thing x plus something equals zero in other words uh, you see that uh, if you solve either one of these in the end you will get x equals to a negative number and from here if you solve that x equals to a negative number if you take a look on the uh, solution only one option have both negative answers okay in other words you can do this 26 number 26 without actually doing the factoring but you need to know the pattern of this factoring okay uh, call that the cheating way of doing it uh, but uh, I am thinking to do another set of videos with uh, a lot of quote-unquote the cheating way <laughs> a short way a shortcut way but uh, that is actually an advanced way to do uh, the elementary algebra okay number 26 the length of a rectangle is uh, 2 cm less than twice the width so the length is 2 less than twice the width now the area of a rectangle is 180 cm squared the area equals to 180 uh, which we know area of a rectangle the area of a rectangle is a uh, length times width right now we know that the length is twice the width minus 2 uh, what I will do next is to solve that equation okay uh, if I do distribution this is 2 w squared minus 2 w and then if uh, it's a quadratic equation therefore I will move the 180 to the other side and then I factorize factorize the 2 okay and then I factorize that trinomial inside it must be W W different sign plus minus right and therefore the width what times what is 90 but the difference is negative 1 that will be 9 and 10 with 10 on the negative side right now from here then we will see if we solve that w plus 9 equals 0 which means w equals to negative 9 but this is impossible because the width of a rectangle cannot be a negative number or this uh, w minus 10 equals to 0 which means the width equals to 10 now you see 10 there right but be very careful notice that the one we are talking about here is the width the one they ask is the length what I will do next then what I will do next then is to find the length through that width the length equals to twice the width which is 10 minus 2 that's 20 minus 2 the length equals to 18 okay <coughs> now that's for number 27 now uh, we can actually uh, do this a little bit easier maybe by doing the following mm. one thing you can do is suppose these are the length can you think of what is the width that correspond to that right now for example uh, if the length is 10 centimeters then the width correspond to that according to this rule 2 centimeters less than twice the width uh, that will be uh, the width will be 6 right because twice the width which is 12 minus 2 give you that 10 right and then uh, with this length with this width the area will be 60 no that's not 180 as we would as we wish now uh, then you try the second one find out what is the width corresponding to that length and find what is the area 
Okay. Now, this is basically a trial and error method, but for you to get around this proper way of doing it may be a bit harder and more time consuming. Now, okay, this is for for 2008 Math 115 Department Final, version 3, number 25, number 26, and number 27. 